Land Rovers have always topped the desirability list for people obsessed with luxury SUVs or off-roaders or both. But recently we met a Land Rover worshipper who refuses to look at the new Land Rovers. He claims that the electronics governing these SUVs rob the driver of the skill and the involvement that you come to associate with capable off-roaders like Land Rovers. Well, he should know better because he owns not one or two but over 20 Land Rovers. We are speaking about Mr. Vivek Goenka, Chairman and MD of the Indian Express Limited. Here's how his stint with the Green Oval began. I was lucky to be loaned a Land Rover to use during one of my monsoons in Bombay. And the bug bit me. This was in the late 80s. I did a lot of reading about them and that was when my love affair with the Land Rover began. The first Land Rover I managed to find uh, was in 1990 when uh, in the Delhi STC, the State Trading Corporation auction in Delhi we found um, a 1985 Land Rover which is still with me and I'm a proud owner of that vehicle. We restored that. The car is probably one of the most original Land Rovers that you can find in the country today. Close after that the very same year I found another Range Rover this time, a 1986 model, which is my pride and my first love among Range Rovers. I have actually off-roaded all over India in that car. Actually the expertise of driving off-road was what I learned from these two vehicles. His collection of Land Rovers and Range Rovers includes some pretty interesting vehicles like a custom-built Land Rover for camping, a 6x6 safari car and a hardcore off-roader for the Camel Trophy. Obviously it's been a dream to participate in the Camel Trophy which unfortunately doesn't uh, exist today. So I decided to uh, kit out one of my Land Rovers to be equipped for a Camel Trophy event if and when it does happen. This baby was the most elusive model of Land Rover that I possess. It's the Series 1. It's the first Land Rover ever manufactured. After about more than 15 years of search, I found her, as you can see, restored to absolutely immaculate condition. I even have a Land Rover Series 1 Darjeeling taxi with me in a very original taxi condition, the way they maintain the car hand-painted, not spray-painted. Keeping a fleet of 25 Land Rovers and Range Rovers running is quite a challenge in this country. I must have bought from various scrapyards at least another 12 to 15 broken down Land Rovers and Range Rovers, cars to actually be donors to keep the other cars running. I probably have purchased half a dozen engines from all over the country. It's been a challenge but a pleasure at the end of it all. I don't possess one of the modern Land Rovers or Range Rovers, which are completely different. The old school Land Rovers and Range Rovers perform based on our driving skills. They do what we want them to do. The modern generation Land Rovers and Range Rovers, they decide they are intelligent and they decide what they want to do. All you have to do is to get in, put it in drive and they do the rest. Where, where is the test for your driving skills? Where is the enjoyment of doing what you want to do, how you want to tackle a terrain, how you want to experiment with different speeds and gear ratios? I will not buy uh, a modern generation 
Land Rover or Range Rover.